Welcome to bowling vlog. For my ball, I have a pitch black and a bullseye. I also have a storm timeless, but that's not used in this video because I didn't have it at the time. My shoes are Dexter SST SEs. And as you can see, I didn't bend my knee. Almost went into the channel. And today is just not my best day. I'm not sure if this is the video where I've fallen, though. Yeah, the approaches were a bit tacky today. I bowl at Bowl America Drainsville. Great bowling alley. Just make sure you have a lot of slide soles to choose from. It really varies, but that's mainly because of our climate area. See, I throw my pitch black for this. And to cover it. I've only been bowling for like eight months, and I already have three balls. To me, that's pretty amazing. My league and average is because this was recorded like two weeks ago, is about 118. But my latest league average is 146. See, I'm getting pretty angry with myself right now. I do a lot better with my timeless because this was heavy oil conditions. And I was just getting too far right. And I kept lofting, but I got some tape and a tape insert tool to solve that. That was my main problem when I first got my timeless yesterday. I got an offset on Pro Shop. It's a really good Pro Shop. He has a bunch of selections. Like, I'm, these are probably not going to be new balls by the time anyone like actually sees this video. But he has no rules, no rules, Pearl, Daredevil, Daredevil trick, and the timeless, which is what I bought. He has all the new balls at his pro shop. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants to be on YouTube. See, I didn't get cocky about that one like I usually do. I should I zoom in on that dark spot on my shirt where I wipe my ball? Even though I use a chamois, it gets on my shirt. My pitch black and my bullseye, the bullseye is my spare ball, are 14 pounds, but my time was actually 15 pounds. Probably gonna hear me saying other stuff in this video. I have the audio muted while I'm narrating. I keep lofting it. It's because I wish I could show you, but my thumb is bent when I'm supposed to grab it with the webbed part between my thumb and first finger. At least that's what my coach tells me. I actually have two coaches, one of which I saw at the bowling alley today. They're great coaches, but again, I'm not gonna say their name unless they. Unless they give me permission. But I will, however, advertise for Bowl America. I love that place. You can see that's my bullseye. I didn't put quite enough curve on it. Kind of embarrassed to show this video. I'm usually doing a lot better. But I just kept lofting. I didn't like it. Not at all. Just keep lofting it. I promise tomorrow's video will be better. It's gonna be showing off my new timeless too. See, I use just a blue storm chamois. I think they're a little overpriced, but I love them. I just throw it on the ball return. Kids in the league get really angry, even though they do it too. So. I don't get that angry. No, it's me. Today I actually converted a 5.7. And this has nothing to do with this video. Because this is shot like weeks ago. But yeah, that's the biggest split I've ever converted. I'm just rambling on waiting for this to be over. It's currently 10.40 at night. Oh, no. Let's see, I stayed home today because of a bowling injury on my foot. So, it is Wednesday. Yep, got school in the morning. Wonderful. My unit in sad face if I feel like it. Yep. Let's 
see I lofted that one and I didn't get it. Lofting is a real big problem for me. And here's what I'm going to wear the bowling alley. I'm either going to be, wear khaki, be wearing khakis and a polo or a nice dress shirt. Because I go to school wearing that. Yeah, I really recommend the pitch black. It's in no way a beginner ball, and neither is the timeless. But I'm pretty much advanced enough to start using that equipment. I actually gave my dad a Tropical Breeze. That was also from Storm. I'm a big Storm fan, by the way. Yeah, that was 11 pounds. I gave it to my dad. And he loves it. We got it redrilled for him. They actually filled the holes and drilled it again. First ball we've ever had re-drilled. See if I can bend my knee just a little bit and put some tape in my ball. Well, I got a strike there, but if I could do that, I'd be yielding real high scores. This is really just after school when I was tired. But I don't have PE tomorrow. So I probably won't be as tired. Just because I'm fat, don't say I hate PE. Because PE is fun, except when we're running. Let's see, that's just a little to the right. Didn't quite make it to the pocket. Jeez, I've been rambling on for like seven minutes. About nothing but everything but bowling. You see, I still keep lofting it. And that's what happens right there. That's what happens when you loft it, kids. Don't loft. I have a problem, and I'm willing to admit it. Now the video is over and I'm going to show you my score, 123, even though I usually get close to 150. I was just having an off day. You know those days, right? Yep.